Hi, it's Maggie. Um, it's been so crazy with COVID and the holidays that I'm getting to December quite late, but um, I will be doing 2021 soon. So I just, I'm looking at the ephemeris for December 2020. Um, I'm going to share my screen so you can see the ephemeris and I'll just kind of point at it. Let's see. There it is. Okay, so yeah, we begin the day with the full moon. Um, I'm going to make this bigger. Show my whole screen. There. Okay, so yeah, we begin with a full moon today, actually. Um, December 1st, oh, because I'm making this, I'm making this um, on the uh, 30th, on the 30th, so definitely, yeah, there's a full moon into the 1st, so I begin December 1st, there's a full moon, um, the moon is in Gemini, the sun is in Sagittarius, and the south, no, the nodes are also in um, in Gemini and, and, and uh, Sagittarius. So it's all about communication and, you know, culture, culture and travel and education and all those kinds of things we're definitely hearing about. Um, Mercury on the first is in Scorpio. It will station into Sagittarius on the 16th. Mercury will go into Sagittarius. So it's going to go from, you know, deep, intense, uh, more like chemistry attraction into extreme generosity. I mean, Sagittarians are so generous, and Venus and Sag just wants to party. Be careful of getting gout. <laughs> yeah, they want to eat, drink, and be merry and be Santa, just give gifts and. So you can really get carried away with your spending. So, you know, it's hard with Black Friday every day, I'll probably all through Christmas as well. So, you know, it's, with Venus and Sagittarius, it's gonna to be tough to put, a, put a, a damper on it with all the commercials you, you're bombarded with, but um, just something to take note of. Mars remains in Aries all month into 2021. I'll do that forecast pretty soon. Uh, Jupiter, well, Mars and Aries is aggression, uh, assertiveness, vitality, energy, uh, rules Aries and Scorpio. So it's very, very happy in Aries and it wants to, it wants to move. Yeah, it definitely wants to move. And, you know, it can also rebel and be quarrelsome and sometimes cause strife in the world. But, um, you can you can channel your Mars. You can channel your Mars. If you don't, it could come out as nervous energy. Um, Jupiter remains in Capricorn, and the exciting, very very exciting thing this month is Jupiter is going to go into station into Aquarius on the twentieth. So that is so exciting to have Jupiter in Aquarius. Um, it will be there a whole year. And it'll be the beginning of a whole new cycle um, for Jupiter to be in air signs. 200 year cycle in a 20 year cycle, I believe, for uh, Jupiter. Saturn also, it's very, very exciting this month. I, you know, I think I already talked about this, so that's probably why I'm doing these late. But I, talk, I was talking about this last year. I was so excited for it to be out of Capricorn. We all were. We can all see damage done, right? But Saturn is going into Aquarius on the 18th, and it will join Jupiter. So this is monumental, bringing in the Aquarian age. Already we're having a foretaste of it, you know, with with um, pretty much our whole virtual lives now, you know, pretty much our whole virtual lives. The south node in, in uh, Sagittarius, it's like the dragon's tail swallowing up, you know, schools as we know them and travel as we know it, although some still are flying, but at the same time, 
I'm, you know, putting themselves in danger. But uh, so Saturn in in Aquarius um, and 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 Jupiter as well in Aquarius will bring expansion of media and electronics and scientific ideas and uh, vaccines and medicine and um, just the whole vision for the future. Aquarians are nothing if not visionaries. So it's very, very exciting. Neptune is retrograde in, um, oh, I'm sorry, Uranus. As the symbols look similar a little, except Neptune has a, a cross of matter underneath it. But Uranus is in Taurus, seven degrees, and it's, it's uh, changing our way we're looking at money and material items, Mater the material world, the material world. It's, it's definitely shaking that up. Um, and we're having a very, very hard, hard look at reality. And it's not through uh, with its sudden unpredictable changes in the financial sector. So um, let's hope that with the, with the Aquarian age, with Jupiter and Saturn, both in Aquarius, we're going to get some awesome visionaries and scientists. And people are really going to be into astrology and um, you know, just humanitarian. They're going to be very humanitarian. So hopefully everyone will be more into helping one another, lifting one another up, helping one another, other than um, trying to get mine, you know, with the material world being too greedy and materialistic, you know, like the movie Wall Street. So it'll be less of that and more, more humanitarian. That's, that's what we're I think we're striving for. That's the vision. That's the Neptunian vision. Neptune is in Pisces. So the Neptunian vision, Neptune is a very, very spiritual planet. And it's the ruler of Pisces. And it's an idealist. It's a mystic. It's, it's visionary. It's um, the higher octave of, of Venus. And so it's... Um, just one love dissolving into a sea, sea of love, you know, everything dissolves into Pisces and it's uni universal. That's the, that's the word I was looking for. Universal love. And so it's very, very spiritual and mystical and, um, and psychic as well and dreamy, dreamy and inspired, very inspiration. You may want to take time Although well, we all are pretty much quarantined, and so people are having to spend more time isolating. Saturn going back into Aquarius, it dipped into Aquarius, and then it came back into Capricorn, but going back into Aquarius, the day, the day it went into Aquarius, I think, was, was when we were quarantined. So we, you know, we're definitely seeing a surge now. And so, um, just batten down the hatches and everybody stay safe. But uh, to get your inspiration on, if you're a creative, um, Pisces is all about creativity. So, um, and, and the dream life. And so if you're like a musician or artist or something, that people need that right now. So you could put your stuff out there and uh, people would really enjoy it. Uh, so Pluto remains in Capricorn 23 degrees throughout the, throughout the month. Um, and the nodes, the nodes of course are um, in Gemini, Gemini and Sagittarius. The south, I mean, Black Moon Lilith moved from Aries into um, Taurus. So she is, She's a mischievous goddess that's messing with our finances, our, our harvest, our food resources, our, um, I think of her as kind of a troublemaker, and you, kind of a secretive, 
troublemaker. And with Uranus too in Taurus, you don't know where it's coming from, you know? It's kind of like behind the scenes. Uh, you get hit with all this nefarious stuff, you know? Um, but we're dealing with it. We're dealing with it. And we have the idealism and strength and stamina to, to deal with it. But to have these planets going into Aquarius, it's going to marshal up our spirit, uh, our, um, our idealism, our, our vision for the future. You know, we're going to be out in space, traveling, all kinds of great things. But I'll talk more about that in 2021 in the forecast. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I'm sorry, it's kind of late. <laughs> Better late than never. And um, yeah, it, it's very, very exciting. The Aquarian age is coming. So everyone be safe. All right. Take care.